This is Mr. Masonette, and today we are going to work on a probability problem involving two events. And this problem is asking us, what are the chances of rolling a 3 with the green dice and a 5 with the blue dice? This is a compound probability problem. Compound probability is the likeliness of two independent events occurring. The compound probability is equal to the probability of the first event multiplied by the probability of the second event. So basically we have to figure out what are the chances of rolling a 3 with the green dice and multiply that by the probability of rolling a 5 with the blue dice. Well, the probability of rolling a 3 with the green dice is 1 sixth. And this is because the green dice has 6 possible outcomes and the number 3 represents one of those possible 6 outcomes. So therefore, the probability of rolling a 3 with the green dice is 1 sixth. And concerning the blue dice, we also have six possible outcomes when we roll the blue dice, and the number five represents one of those possible six outcomes. So what we have to do is take those independent probabilities and multiply those together. And one-sixth times one-sixth is one-thirty-sixth. Now what that means is there are 36 possible outcomes when we roll these pair of dice. And out of those 36 possible outcomes, a combination of a 3 with the green dice and a 5 with the blue dice is one of those 36 possibilities. This probability matrix shows all of the 36 possible outcomes. If you take a look right here, this is the one outcome out of the 36 possible outcomes where we have a 3 for the green dice and a 5 with the blue dice. Now if you take a look over here, we cannot consider this outcome because this is a 3 with the blue dice and a 5 with the green dice. Now in theory, if we roll this pair of dice 36 times, we can expect an outcome of a green 3 and a blue 5 one of those 36 times. So let's roll this pair of dice 36 times and see if we can come up with a green 3 and a blue 5 one time. And because it would take quite a while to roll the pair of dice 36 times, we're just going to speed up the pace of the 36 rolls just so we can see our results. Now we can expect to roll a green 3 and a blue 5, one out of the 36 rolls. This is called the theoretical probability. However, we are doing the actual experiment, and based on the results, we can express the outcome as experimental probability. Just because we can expect something 1 out of 36 times does not mean that will actually occur. So let's see how many times out of the 36 rolls we come up with a green 3 and a blue 5. Before even rolling the dice, we expected an outcome of a green 3 and a blue 5 just one time out of 36 rolls. This is the theoretical probability. However, after rolling the dice 36 times, we came up with that result for out of the 36 times, which can be reduced to 1 out of every 9 times. So this event actually occurred 4 times more than we actually expected it to. So theoretical probability is just how many times you can expect something to occur based on its sample space without actually performing the action. And the experimental probability is just the probability based on the actual results. And for us, we rolled a green 3 and a blue 5 four times out of 36, which is one ninth. 